Hello, Hi. beautiful Halle Berry. How Hello. are you? I'm fantastic. You How look are fantastic. You? I'm great. Thank you for asking. I saw you at the People's Choice Awards. I was yes. very happy to see you. I, I went over and grabbed you and, and assaulted you, telling you how much I love you. <laughs> I love being assaulted by Ellen. Yeah. <laughs> and you had on a, a sequined, uh, beautiful jumpsuit. I would think that that would be uh, hard to sit down in and stuff. Yeah, but you know what it had? It reminded me of like m my baby years. It had a zipper across the butt. <laughs> So, you know, you could pull that little zipper down and then sit on the pot. <laughs> wow. TMI, I'm sure, but yeah. No, but that, that's for jumpsuits, because that's the whole thing. You have to take the entire thing off when you have to run to the restroom. There's a zipper in, on your butt? In the back, yeah. You know, like on the bum, there's like a zipper. You know how it, babies have on their little on, well, on their pajamas? Yeah, I've seen pictures of babies, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, that had a baby bum zipper on it. So wow, that's very clever. <laughs> and did you, was it obvious that it was a zipper or did it make it look like it was some part of a design? No, it was obviously obvious. a zipper. So someone, if they wanted to, could just run up behind you and unzip <laughs> your butt. Why did my son do that? Yeah. <laughs> Before I left the house. Yeah, did he? He did. Oh. How, how old is your son? He, he's eight. Uh-huh. Well, that's, that's, you'd want to do that. If you're, you're a kid and you see a zipper on someone's yeah. butt, you'd unzip it. Yeah. You saw more than an eight-year-old needed to see. Yeah. Well. <laughs> he was like, oh! <laughs> oh! That'll put that away. I said, you took it out. Yeah. He goes, put it out. <laughs> I said, OK. You took it out. It comes out? The butt comes out of the zipper. So if, as if soon you as you unzip butt. it, the whole butt comes out? Basically. <laughs> Basically. You got, a like, big, you got a nice big butt. <laughs> How is your son doing? He's fantastic. What's he, he into? Cursing. Oh. <laughs> you know how kids go through this thing? And you guys have kids, some of you, right? You know. They find curse words, and then they, he's on a tear right now. And I said to his pediatrician, is this a problem? He won't stop cursing. And he said, no, let him curse it up. Let him curse it up, have no reaction, and just let him curse it up. So he is cursing it up. Like it started this year when he was eight? It started this year, yes. It started in COVID. <laughs> well, a lot of us started cursing in COVID. <laughs> um, but, but like, does he have one word in particular, or does he have? Does he use all of them? No, he's got one, but I know I can't say it on this show, so I won't. Yeah, you can. You can. Yeah. He likes to say, like, we read stories, right? So he's mm -hmm. got this one story about the fox and the rabbit, and he'll say, the fox, the rabbit. <laughs> 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 The rabbit <laughs> wall. <laughs> okay. Wow, what'd they do to him? Exactly. He just likes the reaction that gets yeah. when he says these words. Well, that so. does sound kind of it rolls off the <laughs> tongue, really, when you when you think about it. <laughs> the rat, <laughs> the fox, <laughs> the rabbit. Yes. Now I want to say that. <laughs> yeah. I I uh, my first curse word I learned was um, now that we're going to curse the whole time. Um, <laughs> but I didn't know how to use it. And I was trying to put my bike through a gate. And I went, how do we get the <laughs> bike in? It's, like, <laughs> it's not how you use it. I, it, it was wrong. Um, so I didn't curse after that. Um, you know, your boyfriend, uh, we had him on, because I'm a huge m music fan. I had him on in season one before we had you on. We've talked about this. Oh, really? Time. Yes. And actually, a few days ago, when I knew I was coming here. And then I said, you know, I was on her first season. He goes, so was I. And I said, you mean you could have found me 20 years ago and saved me all this misery <laughs> I've been through? Isn't that amazing? How come you didn't arrange that, Ellen? You should have been on the same show. No. I think you were on like two months later or something. It would have saved me three marriages. Well. <laughs> yeah, but then you wouldn't have the little f***ing kid. <laughs> no, I have two other f***ing kids that I wouldn't have to share two f***ing daddies with. <laughs> and I'd be f***ing happier. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so it's your fault. It's your f***ing fault. Oh, now. man. <laughs> I am f***ing sorry. Um, <laughs> this, this, is how I, this is how I go out my last three months, just cursing. <laughs> Let's talk about the movie. Let's talk about Moonfall. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a disastrous film. It's like a, it there's lots of going on. And, uh, and what's cool about it is your part was supposed to be uh, for a guy, yes. and you got it, which is yes. so cool. It is cool. It is cool. <laughs> Especially 
Well, you know, for the head of NASA to be a black woman, I thought, okay, you know, yeah. we're really trying in Hollywood. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Make... Tell everybody what it's about because it's it's great and you're constantly breaking ground. So I just wanted to point that out because it's yes. cool. But Thank tell you. everyone what. I play the head of NASA and, and I used to be an astronaut, but now I'm the head of NASA. And so my old colleague, my old flying buddy, played by Patrick Wilson, he comes to me and he says, "We got a problem." Uh, the moon is off its axis and it's about to crash into Earth. And so we have to suit back up again and go up there and stop the moon from yep. crashing. Yep, yep. and the big job. Um, and all right, we have to take a break. But when we come back, we're going to talk about your other movie that I accosted you about, Bruised, which is so fantastic. Uh, we'll be back more with Halle Berry. That's Halle Berry. That is... Her movie, Bruised, and, uh, and you directed this. This was your first time directing? Yes. What a thing to take on. I, I mean, it is, it's unbelievable. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, the physicality alone that you're, that you're boxing, that you had to train to get into that shape, and then you had to direct, you have to do pre and post and yeah. every, like everything. Crazy. Yeah. It was like this, the dumbest thing to tell somebody you wanted to do at the time. Yeah. You know? But, but you, you, you did it and you pulled it off and it's beautiful and your, your, your performance was amazing. And how long did you train to get into that kind of shape? Two and a half years I started before. I had to, you know, to play a world-class athlete, you can't just say, okay, I'm going to do this and like make it believable. So I had to train jujitsu, taekwondo, muay thai, boxing, kickboxing, wrestling, like all of it. And I used all bits of those different disciplines throughout the course of the movie. And it was, it was a joy. It's and one of the greatest things I've is done. Is that the woman that's the actual? Yes. She's really a fighter. She is Valentina Chevchenko, the current flyweight UFC champion of the world. Yes. And she is a monster. And yeah. I mean, how, and you I mean, hurt look at her. Like, what the yeah, and you hurt yourself, right? What happened well, to you? Well, she hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> and she, she hurt you. What did she, she do? Me. Well, two days, we, start, we started with our big fight because we were all trained up. We were ready to go. So we had a four days at the beginning of the shoot to shoot our fight. Day two, the start of day two, she kicked me, like for real, and broke two of my ribs. Oh. So I had to then do the rest of that day and two more days in the fight with broken ribs, and then do the rest of the whole shoot with broken ribs. Oh my God, that's yeah. horrible. So There's a lot of short breaths. Yeah. How you did know? you do fight scenes with, I mean, anything, but fight scenes with broken ribs? And she must have felt so bad. No. <laughs> <laughs> Only because she kept saying, no, Hallie, it's not broken. It's no, it's not, it's not, it's not. You wouldn't be breathing, you wouldn't be, no, it's not broken. I said, it's broken. No, it's not, it's not. So she didn't feel bad because she didn't really believe it. And I didn't go get an x-ray until the fight was over because I knew they would shut me down if they knew that I was, could puncture a lung, right? So she didn't feel bad because she thought, oh, it's just a muscle, it's gonna be fine. I, this happens to me all the time. So she didn't feel bad. Wow. In the moment, no. Um, <laughs> It is so good. If you haven't seen it, Bruised is streaming now. It's on Netflix, and Moonfall opens in theaters and IMAX tomorrow. And we're going to play Burning Questions with Hallie after this. We'll be back.